Tonight, Mod Mod World takes a look at the medical profession. Tonight, Mod Mod World takes a look at medicine. Mm. So everybody out there, open your mouth and say, ah. You know, Dick, we must be living in medicine's most productive era. Hardly a day goes by that we don't hear some statement from the medical world. That's true. Last night on the news, I heard a doctor say something. What did he say? Take two aspirins and call me in the morning. Oh. Now, come on, it's a serious subject. I'm sorry, I'm just not too thrilled with doctors, that's all. Well, who takes care of your health? I do, that's who. Every morning I get up, I take my own temperature. No kidding. Yeah, this morning was 118. Your temperature was 118? That's funny, so is mine. Oh, come on, that's impossible. If your temperature was 118, you would now be on your way to a better, to a happier world where everyone does just as they wish. Las Vegas? No, come on. You must admit your temperature wasn't 118. Well, I remember distinctly. I put the temperature in my mouth. You put the thermometer in the your mouth. The glass thing. The glass yeah, thing. Yeah. I put it in my mouth, and, uh, and then I uh, took it out, and I stirred my coffee, and I read it. Well, your coffee was 118. That's it. <laughs> you know, if you had a bad cold and it wasn't getting any better, you'd go see a doctor, right? No, I'd have a couple drinks. Well, now, al alcohol isn't a cure for anything. I'll drink to that. Yeah. <laughs> what, if, what if you woke up in the middle of the night with a sharp pain? Then you'd go screaming for a doctor. No, I would not. I'd use my grandmother's old cure. Your grandmother had an old cure for sharp well, pain? Well, I guess so. No kidding. Oh, yeah. First of all, you get a, a squirrel and you put it in a sack. And, uh, yeah, put a squirrel in a sack, and you put a three-foot uh, piece of string on it, and you whirl it around your head 37 times counterclockwise. And then you jump up and down on a snowshoe and sing Sweet Sue. And that's a cure for sharp pains. You're kidding. I gotta try that. <laughs> What you'd do, you'd go see a specialist. Well, I'm a doctor's a specialist. What does he specialize in? Cigarette commercials. Uh, <laughs> I bumped into him just the other day. Uh, what'd he say? Take two aspirins uh, and call me in the morning. In the morning. <laughs> you know, you're making fun of a group of people that work night and day to keep you in perfect health. Me? That's right. Uh, and every day they come up with something new. Look what's going on today, transplants. There's nothing new about that. What do you mean there's nothing new about it? It's brand new. Oh, come on. My doctor in our neighborhood did one years and years ago. A transplant? Yeah, see, he was in a garage having his car fixed, you yeah. see. And this woman came driving in, and she got out of her car, and all of a sudden she had a seizure. She had a seizure? Yeah, right there in the garage. So he had to think quickly. Yeah. Yeah, he operated on her. What did he do? Well, he replaced her kidney with an old carburetor. <laughs> Wait a minute. man put a carburetor in a woman for her kidney? Well, it was an emergency. Hmm. How did it work out? Well, she's a little slow on hills. Uh... Oh, come on. Her husband complains she's a little cold getting started in the morning. All right! Will you stop where that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard? You know what a doctor would say if you told him a thing like that? Take two aspirins and call me in the morning. <laughs> Times have changed in the medical field. Years ago, strikes were unthinkable for nurses and doctors. Today, it's not uncommon at all. We are here in the waiting room of Burbank General Hospital in beautiful downtown Burbank with head nurse Edith Head. The conditions here today are appalling. These people have been waiting for hours. No one to help. Beds in the corridors. No fresh linens. Meals are late. I don't even see a doctor in sight. It's appalling. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. But just think what it's going to be like when the strike starts. <laughs> Mod Mod World takes another look at the medical profession. Mr. Frisbee, could I have one word with you? Yeah. Well, it's very kind of you to come over here. I guess driving an ambulance is pretty exciting work, isn't Whoa! Oh, it sure is, you know, because you got you, you, careening through traffic, uh, zipping from lane to lane, running through red lights, cars, bucks, trusses, running at you at all sides. It's oh. really exciting. It's Taking exciting. all of those chances yeah. just to get to the patient as soon as possible. No, no, that's oh. after I get the patient. Go there, you got to drive slow because you can't be too careful. You might get killed in an accident. Oh, but when you arrive at the emergency, what is the first thing you do to help a patient? Well, the first thing I do is 
I help him to fill out the form. Oh, the form. Yes, mm -hmm. you can't do anything unless you fill out the form I first. See. What, is, what if he's in critical condition? Oh, then you got to work real fast, because oh. if I don't get that form filled out, I'm in real trouble, you know I what I see. mean? All right, so you fill out the form, then what? Uh, well, well, then comes the most important part of my job. What's that? Um, oh, uh, that's getting the money. $22 oh. plus eight for the siren, $2.80 <laughs> for the siren. <laughs> What medicine really boils down to is a war against the germ. Tonight, we meet a noble, dedicated man who is fighting that war. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Edward Flowers. This is my life's work, a pill containing a miniature color TV camera. Once this is inside my patient, I'll be able to see what the germs are doing. Swallow this. Damn the penicillin! Full speed ahead! Fire when you see the whites of their corpuscles! Well, where do you want these mumps, Mon General? What's that? Hold on a minute. Listen, they're short on chicken pox at the front. Do we have any? Uh, yes. Well, don't just stand there. Drop your mumps and drop your pox. Sorry. The light fell off, Chief. <laughs> How strange. Emergency, sir. A capsule. Just hit the cough control center. Look, there's the first tiny time pill now. Watchers, uh, all right. All units attack. You Asian flu germs attack. Move out, John. Come in the room. Time to say good night, Dick. Good night, Dick. Good night, Dick. Good night, Dick. 
Good night, Dick. Good night, sweet prince. Hey, next week, it looks like we're gonna have a real winner. We have hey, some... Hey, I wonder if you'd mind if I said something my uncle once said to me. Oh, I'd love to hear it, but we're out of time. Next week, our guest... It was rather our... important. Quick, is it? Mm hmm Okay. He said, uh, take two aspirins and call me in the morning. <laughs> Good night, Dick. Good night, Dick. Good night, everybody. Hope you had a good time. We did. Very interesting. <laughs>